Hi, welcome back to the next section, Advanced Data Creation and Ending. This section provides advanced ways to create vector data. We will cover mapping coordinates and addresses from tables. Next, geo-referencing of imagery into a target coordinate reference system will be covered. The final portion of the section will cover testing topological relationships in vector data and correcting any errors via topological editing. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with creating points from coordinate data. In this video, we are going to map well-known text representations. There is a lot of data with spatial components stored in spreadsheets and tables. One of the most common forms of tabular spatial data is X and Y coordinates that are stored in a delimited text file. The data may have been collected with a GPS receiver, it may have been generated by a surveyor, or it may have been transcribed off topographic maps. Regardless, QGIS can map these coordinates as points by using the Add Delimited Text Layer tool. This tool can be found by navigating to Layer, Add Layer, Add Delimited Text Layer, or on the Manage Layers toolbar. Delimited text data is simply a table with column breaks that are identified by a specific character such as a comma. With this tool, QGIS can accept either X and Y coordinates or well-known text, WKT, representations of geometry. WKT can contain point, line or polygon geometry. Let us now look at a sample data, cougar underscore sightings.csv. We will view it in a text editor. This is a comma delimited file with X and Y coordinate values. In this example, the first row contains the column names and definitions for the data type in each column. The column names and definitions are enclosed in quotes and are separated by commas. The first column reads Sampid C20. In this case, the field name is Sampid. It is a text field signified by the letter C, which stands for character, with a width of 20 characters. The final two columns contain the coordinates. These are numeric fields signified by the N character. They have a precision of 19 and a scale of 11. QGIS has three requirements for the delimited text file to be mapped. The first row must be a delimited header row of field names. The header row must contain field type definitions. If the geometry values are stored as X and Y coordinate values, they must be stored as numeric fields. For mapping data held in many file format contingencies, navigate to Layer, Add Layer, Add Delimited Text Layer. Select the file name by clicking on Browse and locate the delimited text file on your system. QGIS will attempt to parse the file with the most recently used delimiter. We load the Cougar sightings. Select Layer Name. By default, this will be the prefix of the delimited text file. Use the File Format radio boxes to specify the format of the delimited text file. You will see how QGIS is parsing the file by the example at the bottom of the Create a Layer from a Delimited Text File window. Choose CSV if it is a standard comma delimited file. Custom delimiters can be checked to identify the specific character used. The choices are comma, tab, space, colon, semicolon or other delimiters. We also have the regular expression delimiter option if you wish to enter the regular expression for the delimiter. For example, backward slash t is the regular expression for the tab character. The record options section allows you to specify the number of header lines to discard. In most cases, this option will be set to first record has field names. The Field Options option allows you to control some field parameters. Check Trim Fields if you need to trim leading or trailing spaces from your data. Check Discard Empty Fields to prevent empty fields from being put into the output. If commas are also the separators for decimal place values, check Decimal Separator is a comma. Once the file has been passed, choose an appropriate value from the Geometry Definition option. If your file contains X and Y coordinates, choose Point Coordinates and identify the fields containing the X and Y coordinates. Choose Well-Known Text, 
WKT if your file contains WKT geometries. For this option, you will also need to choose the field containing the WKT geometry definitions. If the file does not contain any spatial information, choose No Geometry and the table will be loaded simply as a table. Here we select point coordinates. Additionally, you can choose to enable the Use Spatial Index, Use Subset Index or Watch File. This setting watches for changes to the file by other applications while QGIS is running. Then click OK. Once the tool has been run, a new point layer will be added to QGIS with all the attributes present in the original file. However, this is not a standalone GIS layer yet. It is simply a rendering of the tabular data within the QGIS project. As such, it will behave like any other layer. It can be used as an input for other tools, records can be selected, and it can be styled. However, it cannot be edited. To convert the layer to a standalone shapefile or another vector format, click on Save As under Layer or right click on the layer in the Layers panel and click on Save As. Here you can choose any OGR supported file format along with an output CRS of your choice. The Cougar underscore sightings.csv sample data has coordinates in UTM Zone 13 NAD83 or EPSG 26913. As mentioned earlier, the Add Delimited Text Layer tool can also be used to map well-known text WKT, representations of geometry. WKT can be used to represent simple geometries such as point, line string and polygon along with multipoint, multi-line string and multi-polygon. It can also represent more complex geometry types such as geometry collections, 3D geometries, curves, triangular irregular networks and polyhedral surfaces. WKT geometries use geometry primitives such as point, line string and polygon followed by the coordinates of vertices that are separated by commas. For example, line string 30, 10, 20, 20, 40, 30 would represent the line feature as shown in this diagram. We will now see how WKT can be mapped via the Add Delimited Text Layer tool. We will map the parcels underscore WKT.csv sample data file. This has WKT geometries for 8 parcels, polygons. Click on Add Delimited Text Layer by navigating to Layer, Add Layer. Select the file name by clicking on Browse and locate the delimited text file on your system. Here the parcels underscore WKT.csv file is being used. Choose an appropriate value for the layer name field. By default this will be the prefix of the delimited text file. Use the File Format radio buttons to specify the format of the delimited text file. This is a CSV file, so we will use CSV. For record options, set the number of header lines to discard option as 1. Set the geometry definition option to well-known text, WKT. Set the geometry field option to field underscore 1. And click OK. We are unable to view the result. So let's change the CRS. The data layer will be added to the layers list and will behave like any other vector layer. The output shows the resulting parcel boundaries. That's all in this video. Here we created points from coordinate data.